Hi guys, this is Shuman from ASA Technical. Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7 in UEFI mode on a new generation computer. There are several reasons behind a computer user might want to install Windows 7 operating system in UEFI mode on a new generation computer. Among of them, two main reasons are they want to use dual boot system or they just prefer to use Windows 7 on their new generation computers. But keep in mind that Windows 7 kernel which is always best for BIOS based computer, I mean legacy boot mode. And one more important thing, this is not as simple as installing a UEFI copy of Windows 8.1 or Windows 10. But don't worry, the method that I will show you here is very easy. Definitely this video will be very convenient for you. Well, let's begin. Alright, in order to install Windows 7 in EFI mode, you need to follow some steps. Number 1, you will need a Windows 7 ISO file. Number 2, you will need to download Rufus to create a USB bootable flash drive. Number 3, you will need to download 7-zip file manager to open and extract some files. And number 4, a USB flash drive. Remember, the drive must be at least 8 GB of capacities and it must be completely empty. Next, launch the Rufus. Next, insert your USB flash drive and select that from here. Next click on select. Now just select the Windows 7.iso file that you have been downloaded and click on open. Next select partition styled GPT and select the target system option UFI. Next select FAT32 option from file system. Next click on start. Then click on OK. Now be patient for a while until the process is complete and until it's ready for use. Well, now click on close. Alright, next open the Windows 7 installation media that you have created. Next go to EFI, then Microsoft. Now just copy the boot folder. Next go back to EFI, then just simply paste here. Next, open the 7-zip file manager. Next, you need to find out the Windows 7 installation media from here that you have created. Now just open it. Next, go to sources. Next, scroll down and find out install.wim. Once you found that, just double click on it to open. As you can see, next open the first folder. Next open Windows folder. Then open boot folder and then open EFI folder. Now just scroll down and select boot mgfw.efi as you can see. Next click on extract. Next click on browse. Next you need to find out the Windows 7 installation media from here that you have created. Next expand EFI folder then select boot folder. 
next click on ok and then ok next go to that folder where you have extract this boot mgfw.efi file now just follow me properly all right now just rename this boot mgfw.efi as boot x64.efi as i am doing all right now your windows 7 installation media is ready to install in uefi mode well let me show you by installing all right now insert your created uefi bootable windows 7 installation media then just restart your computer next be ready to enter your pc's bios to configure the boot mode in uefi as you can see Now just select boot from your created UEFI bootable Windows 7 installation media. Then click on next and install now. Next accept the license terms and then next select the custom option. Now select where you want to install your Windows 7. Then next. Now be patient and please do nothing, your PC will restart several times.
now type your name or which you want and then next now type your password for your account then next next enter your product key if you don't want to enter product key right now then just skip it next select this recommend settings option now choose your location and then finally click on next that's it We hope you will like, of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.